everybody, Rocktimus Prime here, back with another Transformers video review. Now today we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Combiner Wars, <clears throat> excuse me, Voyager Class Optimus Prime, or I believe this is supposed to be a Voyager Class, I don't, I, I gave up, I'm just going to call it a Voyager. Ultra Prime 3 of 5, so you do see a nice picture of Optimus there on the side, it says Combiner Wars! That's all about logo. They're Transformers Generations. You can't see the Generations logo, but it, it it's there. Coming around here to the side, you do see the Autobot Comet. That's what I'm calling it. I really do dig that logo. I think it looks really, really cool. Coming around here to the back, you do get your obligatory product shots and your one-sentence bio. The Autobot Commander has been upgraded with the power of the Combiners, giving him the ability to link with any bot to form Ultra Prime. Very cool. And of course, you do see him here with the parts for Superion, for some reason, and drag strip. So, that's about it. That's him in his vehicle mode, and that's him in his robot mode. So let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. When you first is. open up the packaging, you do get your instructions. And they are in this really kind of weird, elongated... Instead of giving, like, an actual book, they give you, like, this pamphlet. It's kind of cool. Kind of weird. Kind of cool, but I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. So there are your instructions. It's just a very simple transformer. To transform. Just getting that out of the way. And here you have Optimus Prime. Starting off with his accessories, here you have one gun. Here you have a more Prime styled gun. If you put them together, they sort of make like an engine block looking thing, which is pretty cool. They also do have a combined form, which you can use for Ultra Prime. You just plug this barrel in here and boom and I do like how this connects I think that's really cool here you have his rifle like a sniper rifle it's pretty cool it's pretty long me personally I don't use this I just use his regular blaster and as you can see the peg here isn't exactly rounded and it just slots into his hand like that he doesn't really hold it all that well, but then again, neither did the original Generation 1 toys, so call it an homage, call it whatever you want. And then out of his hand. And for weapon storage, you can store them on the back of his feet if you really want to. I think I dropped it. Like that. If you want to. Personally, I just set him off to the side. And coming on down to the figure himself. Now, Ultra Prime and Optimus Prime, they aren't my favorite. It isn't my favorite figure of the line. And so far, I think that goes to the little drag strip here. But for comparison, there he is with the Deluxe. So you can see how they scale together. He He's okay. He looks very Power Mastery with the big windows and the long arms and... Just the overall look is very, looks to me more of a Power Master kind of thing. Now the head, the head and the chest and the arms do make him look a bit like a gorilla. I'm not going to lie, they do look kind of weird. But for his combined mode, I do see why some of these things had to be this way. Now for his articulation, his head does rotate all the way around. It does side to side, so it's on a ball joint. They do rotate here at the elbows, or the shoulders, excuse me. Do rotate here, but that's mainly for transformation. They have a single joint here, but they also have a backwards bend too. Mainly, again, mainly for transformation, but it's there, and this does swing if you want it to. So on the fists, all the fists have for articulation is they can go like that to access the combiner port. So, <laughs> the torso, it does rotate. I'm not sure why this is cut out like this. It makes it look like it should be a button or something, but it's not. It's just a solid piece. The hips, oh boy, the hips. Hips go forward on a nice clickety-clackety ratchet about that far. Oh, that far, actually. They go back that far. So, a nice range of movement there on the hips. And a very nice... Very loud ratchet on the way out, but that's mainly for the combined mode legs. 
He does have, there we go. He does have a knee joint, which is not ratcheted, but it is a, you get a nice range of movement out of it. And he does have foot pivot. Overall, Ultra Prime, uh, he isn't bad, but he's not good either. And this butt flap can move. You can either have it up here, like that, in here like that, or just kind of cording all this up against the back like that to give it sort of a, I don't know, more prime look. Now, personally, I don't like the way Ultra Prime looks, and since I only have one limb, that being drag strip, I can't really show off how Ultra Prime looks. But to get him into his Ultra Prime mode, all you do is you want to take this head, fold it in. And that is why the head is so small, as it has to rotate like that. I'm going to take these arms and rotate them like this and bring them up. And there's a little slot right there and a little peg right there in his arm that just slot together. Come on. Slot together. Ah, there we go. Like that. Second verse, same as the first. Rotate this around. Bring this up, peg goes into slot, just like so, with the greatest of ease, there we go, like that. There you have his torso, or the back end of his torso, pretty much done, aside from you know, folding down the fist to get at the combiner ports. Now you just want to come around here to the waist, rotate it, and this is where the butt flap, if you have it up, it'll stay out of the way, but if you have it down, you're going to want to move it. Rotate it around like that, so rotate the figure. Come around here to the legs, rotate them out like this. Then you want to take these little panels here, and you can see that there's a little tab right there, a little slot right there, that'll just tab into that up there. We bring these out, just want to flip that up, and then maneuver, let's see. Maneuver that slot into that peg. You just have to get it right in there like that. And then get it so it's somewhat straight. Boom. Do the same thing on this side. Bring this panel up. And rotate it in like that. There you have Prime's sort of torso. What you want to do is come down to this thing, bring it down, make sort of like a, cr a cod piece. Take this section, fold it out, and flip up the head. Now it's on this gray hinge, and that'll just bring everything up, revealing this pseudo matrix here. They make little cars that will plug in here to give them like a chest piece, but I kind of like the matrix kind of showing there. Ultra Prime's head is kind of weird, like it won't sit in position. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be here, if it's supposed to be back here. It's on a double hinge, so you can have it up, you can have it look all over the place. It's on a hinge and then on a ball joint. So it is very expressive in what you can do with it. The wings on the side, eh, eh, very Energon Prime. And that, I believe, you just want to take this and fold it up like that, and there you have Ultra Prime in his torso mode. Now, for the combination of Ultra Prime, look down here. Squirrel! Shiny. Sorry. All you want to do is you want to take your limb, in this case drag strip, and plug it in to the slot right here. And there you have the combined arm. It's really side heavy all of a sudden because this is a lot of mass and it does look good. I will give it that. It looks decent. I will have to get some more Autobots to go with this guy that aren't just the Superion set. Now I'll show you his leg mode. Here I have drag strip in his foot mode. And you just want to take that and push that back in and that locks in place just like that. As you can see, these guys get really tall. These guys get super duper tall. I don't really have anybody for comparison right here. Just massively tall. And with all of the combiner limbs, you know, another foot, another arm, he'll just be absolutely massive. I'm not a big fan of the Ultra Prime look because I think it just makes Optimus look kind of dorky here, just kind of sitting there. But one thing I will say is the combiner ports on this guy are very secure and they're very easy to slot into place and they hold very nicely 
The joints work really well. The joints work really well. They ratchet very nicely. It won't go that far. Oh, there we go. Um, and they just detach so smoothly that obviously children were meant to uh, sort of handle these guys. Now, the transformation into truck mode from Ultra Prime mode is darn simple, my boy. Just want to take this, fold it in like that. Get it in like that. Get those like that. Close up the cab. The cab. Take the feet, untab them, flip these little gray pieces back down. Get them oriented properly back into a leg. Because that's really all Prime's lower torso is, any or lower half is, is just legs pegged together. Fold down the feet, and I believe you want to come around here to these sections, unpeg them, and flip them back around. Hold on a second, let me get my bearings. Nope, that's good. Okay, so, with them like this, you just want to fold it up, kind of accordion it, and it is on a kind of particular joint like that. Then flip up the hand. Then what you want to do is take it, bring it around, and then bring these legs back. And these legs will do something really cool here. They, <clears throat> ah, drexter. They accordion up, uh, no, the whole, sorry, excuse me. Bring this out. Then you want to bring this whole torso section, which you can't really see because the arm's in the way. I like that for now. This whole torso section just kind of collapses into itself. Then you just want to wiggle the legs. All right, so you do want to rotate them because the wheels have to be pointed to the ground. That's how cars work. <laughs> I'm going to take this, fold it up, bring it down, and bend the knees. So it sits, just sit, the bip. This is the part where my tongue stops working. Sits down like this, get everything closed back up here. You can either fold this down to cover the gun ports or you can flip it up to hide the combiner chest. I prefer to have it down. It does make things a little bit trickier to get it tabbed into place, but it doesn't hinder it too much and I just think it looks a little bit better. So you wanna take this, fold it up, and into place like that. There's a little slot right there that will peg into that tiny peg right there, just like that. Same thing on this side. Unpeg it, rotate it around, flip up the fist, bring it together like that, bring it in, form in the front section of the grill, peg the front of the cab together, Peg the legs into the arm, which it already did automatically. That's really cool. There's a little tab right there that will just tab into that little red slot there. Now there's a peg here that will tab into that slot up there. If you've done everything correctly, there we go. This side always gives me trouble when this flaps down. There we go. Oh, hey, it actually went in pretty decently. Yep, oh, yep, oh, hurt. And there you have Optimus Prime in his truck mode. Now for all the faults that I had with Ultra Prime, the vehicle mode here is pretty cool. It is a nice representation of Optimus Prime. It's big, it's hefty, it's got the smokestacks, flat front. The only thing that it needs is stickers here to complete this overall look here. And Rep Rep Labels has a sticker set. I always wanna say Rep Labels, it's Rep Labels has a sticker set out for this guy, which I may pick up at some point just to give him a little more detail. A nice Autobot logo there on the ch on the roof. He did have two very nice ones on his shoulders, which I really like that look. You, you can cover them with stickers with the re Repro Label set. I caught myself. Repro Label set if you want to. I might not. I don't know. Overall, there's not a whole lot to say about this truck. I mean, it's a truck. Wee. Oui. Here you have them with drag strip, so you can see just how well these guys actually scale together. Now, whether the, it's a small deluxe or a uh, small Voyager, excuse me, and a large deluxe or a large, yeah, what? Whether it's a large deluxe and a small Voyager, or whether this is just the size scale that they're going with, I don't know. But it is cool that they scale very nicely together. 
for the price of $23, I think I paid for this guy, he's not bad. And he does, as I said, have weapon storage here if you want to. You can plug the guns into the back. Pretend he's got like a gun engine where its trailer hitch would be. And he does have a trailer hitch, which you can also use for a gun port. So whether someone will come out with a third-party trailer for this guy or whether we'll get an official trailer, I don't know. But he's hoping. Because you can't have Optimus Prime without his trailer. But overall, I think this guy is really, really cool. I'm really digging the Combiner Wars. Metasaur. Yeah, it's Metasaur Superion. Uh, they just released the one with Hotspot. What's his name? The Protectabots. And Ultra Prime, and I believe we even have Devastator coming out. All look really good. And this guy could use some plastic uh, paint on his wheels. But other than that, he's a really good toy. And I really recommend you pick him up. If you're a fan of Optimus Prime, if you're a fan of Transformers. Now that is the only reason that thing won't stay tabbed together. Erg. So, he's not the best Optimus Prime, but he ain't the worst either. So, with that said, this has been Rocktimus Prime. I hope you guys have a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this. Take care, guys.